Colonel Sharp. Mr. Harper, you honor our table. Thank you, Major. Now, if I may, uh, the Reverend Watkin, Ensign Beauclair, you know, my wife, of course, Miss Bonnet. And I are already acquainted. Oh, of course. <clears throat> well, we wait only upon... Oh, there he is. Good evening, Subada. My apologies, Major. I will sit in upon some... Oh! <gasps> Take cover! <laughs> Chetos, man. Life is now. the bill, Mr. Buckler. Her Highness and the commonality are all accounted for, sir. Of company troops, four are numbered dead, including the surgeon. Six are wounded, of which two, including Subir Arpalai, are like to die. And your own section? Not a man come to harm, sir. But Colour Wormwood confides they gave good account of themselves. Though I confess, with all that befell, I'm hard pressed to order events. The fire and the fighting, the horses and all. Your first action? Yes, sir. You did well. I would hope so, sir. I was, you see, born to a soldier. Indeed. Perhaps you met him. You will have heard of him almost certainly. He was the man brevetted major at Victoria for capturing Marshal Jordan's baton. I don't believe I know him. You'd have taken to him, sir. For well, he was very brave, much admired by his men. It was, Mr. Beclair. He fell, sir, at Bronsabouts, when I was a boy. There was I thinking it was you and me that came across the marshal's baton at Victoria, abandoned in the baggage train along with King Joe's Royal Jake's pot. Yeah. Have your memories off, Pat. Do your duty now, boy. You flow like the River Liffey. Sir, Major, sir. That aside. I will do no such thing. For once in your life, do as you're damn well told.
told you it was a stair port. Use a rifle, not a bloody chance. We need every man we can get. Make your damn report, if you please. Well, I'm waiting. Everything is as you disposed, sir. You will recall that you have elected to defend the western flank of the village. Sir Henry, if you're ready, we should go to our post. Sir Henry? Sir Henry? And who are you, sir, to address me in such familiar terms? Well, this is the uh, field marshal. The Lord Chitu, sir. Field Marshal, huh? Hmm. Your servant, my lord, of course. <laughs> by Jesus, this is some army we've put together. Shirkers and Bedlamites, the halt and the mad. Do we begin, sir? All in good time, Calibermond. Let them see us first and despair. Sir, I must speak with you. Can it not wait, Mr. Beclair? Very well, make it quick. Come away, then. I've not yet been assigned to position. My men have their orders. Lance Nike Singh has his orders. Even General Simerson... Mr. Beclair. I must I... know, sir. Is it because of my father? I thought you must have... He did not fall, as I have said. He did not storm the breach, nor capture the marshal's baton, but rather... He died as Cullowen were deported. You are not your father. No, sir. But I look very like. At least my mother says. How a man counts upon the eye, Mr. Beauclair, means less than nothing. It's what's in his heart that matters. Which is why the most important job of all I kept for you. Me, sir. Who else would I entrust to defend the mission and give protection to the ladies? Get to it now. Aye, sir. A few words from yourself wouldn't go amiss. Maybe steady the lad's nerves. Aye. Company! Take heed! I know the buggers look smart. But take it from me, that's all they are. Strutting peacocks. At the Battle of Waterloo, the South Essex Regiment stood all day. They beat off two brigades of cavalry and Bonaparte's Imperial Guard. All you have to do is stand. Stand! Let the cavalry come on. Stand! Hold fire! 
until the horses are within ten paces. Stand, and the day will be ours. Trust in the shadow. Colonel Sharp, sir! Ever more faithful, ever more sure. Walking! Get out of here! Brothers, brothers, lay down your arms. Today is the Sabbath. To spill blood this day would be impious. The Sabbath, you say? Aye, sir. Aye. Then you of any should know God does not work upon a Sunday. Bastard. Take cover! <laughs> You boogers, stand. Present. I'm killed, man. Walk back! Do my duty! Duty? The officer gave orders that I must hold my position. Well then, because if you can do it, I can. as long as I may. Right, we have a more walk. You just did a poor fool, Wormwood. But now you'll have to deal with a man. Bastard! 
Dragimirov, for all your bloody squadron, you've lost. If I'm for hell sharp, then you're coming with me. One blade, Dragimirov. Warranted never to fail. How stands the day, sir? Days, hours. Did I do my duty, sir? Aye. And more besides. Will you write my mother, sir? I would have her know our name was not dismayed. You will write and tell us so yourself when you're able. Miss Bonnet tells me I shall mend. But blood demands soldiers deal plain. Am I to die, sir? Might I then presume upon your hands, sir? Until the moment is past. A dozen he killed. A dozen. You too. Your grace, Sharp. Your grace, damn your eyes, sir. Have you no etiquette? You would dress a peer of the realm. Remember your place, sir. Well, you were restored to yourself, Sir Henry. How could a man forget it? You did it, Colonel Sharp. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> 